The Spanish dollar, also known as the piece of eight Spanish, peso de ocho or real de ocho, is a silver coin, of approximately 38 mm diameter, worth eight Spanish reals, that was minted in the Spanish Empire after 1598. Its purpose was to correspond to the German dollar. The Spanish dollar, so called due to being approximately the same weight and fineness of the Dutch Luindalder, was widely used by many countries as the first international, world currency because of its uniformity in standard and milling characteristics. Some countries countersigned the Spanish dollar so it could be used as their local currency. The Spanish dollar was the coin upon which the original United States dollar was based, and it remained legal tender in the United States until the Coinage Act of 1857. Because it was widely used in Europe, the Americas, and the Far East, it became the first world currency by the late 18th century. Aside from the US dollar, several other currencies, such as the Canadian dollar, the Japanese yen, the Chinese yuan, the Philippine peso, and several currencies in the rest of the Americas, were initially based on the Spanish dollar and other eight real coins. Diverse theories link the origin of the dollar. Symbol to the columns and stripes that appear on one side of the Spanish dollar, the term peso was used in Spanish to refer to this denomination, and it became the basis for many of the currencies in the former Spanish colonies, including the Argentine, Bolivian, Chilean, Colombian, Costa Rican, Cuban, Dominican, Ecuadorian, Guatemalan, Honduran, Mexican, Nicaraguan, Paraguayan, Philippine, Puerto Rican, Peruvian, Salvadoran, Uruguayan, and Venezuelan pesos. Of these, peso remains the name of the official currency in Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Mexico, Philippines, and Uruguay. Millions of Spanish dollars were minted over the course of several centuries. They were among the most widely circulating coins of the colonial period in the Americas, and were still in use in North America and in Southeast Asia in the 19th century. History. Topic. Etymology of dollar In the 16th century, Count Hieronymus Schlick of Bohemia began minting a coin known as a Joachimsthaler from German Thal, modern spelling tall, valley, cognate with dale, in English, named for Joachimsthal, the valley in the Ore Mountains where the silver was mined street. Joachim's Valley, now Yakimov, then part of the Kingdom of Bohemia, within the Holy Roman Empire, now part of the Czech Republic. Joachimstaler was later shortened to Taylor, a word that eventually found its way into Norwegian, Danish and Swedish as Daler, Russian as Taylor, Taylor Czech and Slovene as Tolar, Polish as Taylor, Dutch as Dalder, Amharic as Talary, Hungarian as Taller, Italian as Tiero, Greek as Talero, Talero, Spanish Talero and English as Dollar. The Joachimstaler weighed 451 troy grains, 29.2 grams of silver. So successful were these coins that similar tallers were minted in Burgundy and France. The Burgundian cross taller depicted the cross of Burgundy and was prevalent in the Burgundian Netherlands that were revolting against the Spanish king and Duke of Burgundy Philip II. After 1575, the Dutch revolting provinces replaced the currency with a dalder depicting a lion, hence its Dutch name Luindalder. Specifically to facilitate export trade, the Luindalder was authorized to contain 427.16 grains of 0 .750 fine silver, lighter than the large denomination coins then in circulation. Clearly it was more advantageous for a Dutch merchant to pay a foreign debt in Luindalders rather than in other heavier, more costly coins. Thus, the Luindalder or Lion dollar became the coin of choice for foreign trade. It became popular in the Middle East, and colonies in the East and West. They also circulated throughout the English colonies during the 17th and early 18th centuries. From New Netherland New York, the Lion Dollar spread to all 13 colonies in the West. English speakers began to apply the word dollar also to the Spanish peso or piece of eight. By 1581, which was also widely used in the British North American colonies at the time of the American Revolution, hence adopted as the name and weight of the U.S. monetary unit in the late 18th century. Topic Spain After the introduction of the Golden Gratian in Austria in 1486, the concept of a large silver coin with high purity sometimes known as specie coinage eventually spread throughout the rest of Europe. 
Monetary reform in Spain brought about the introduction of an eight real coin in 1497. In 1537 the Spanish Escudo gold coin was introduced, which was worth 16 reals. The later gold doubloon was worth 32 reals or two escudos. It is this divisibility into eight which caused the silver coins to be named pieces of eight. In the following centuries, the coin was minted with several different designs at various mints in Spain and the New World, having gained wide acceptance beyond Spain's borders. Thanks to the vast silver deposits that were found mainly in Potosi in modern-day Bolivia and to a lesser extent in Mexico for example, at Taxco and Zacatecas, and to silver from Spain's possessions throughout the Americas, mints in Mexico and Peru also began to strike the coin. The main New World mints for Spanish dollars were at Potosi, Lima, and Mexico City with minor mints at Bogotá, Popayán, Guatemala City, and Santiago, and silver dollars from these mints could be distinguished from those minted in Spain by the Pillars of Hercules design on the reverse. In the 19th century, the coin's denomination was changed to 20 reals based on 20 reals de velen and finally two escudos. Spain's adoption of the peseta in 1869 and its joining the Latin Monetary Union meant the effective end of the last vestiges of the Spanish dollar in Spain itself. However, the five peseta coin or duro was slightly smaller and lighter but was also of high purity 90% silver. In the 1990s, commemorative 2000 peseta coins were minted, similar in size and weight to the eight reals and also with high fineness. Topic. Mexico Following independence in 1821, Mexican coinage of silver reels and gold escudos followed that of Spanish lines until decimalization and the introduction of the peso. The Mexican eight reels coin, eventually becoming a one peso coin continued to be a popular international trading coin throughout the 19th century. After 1918, the peso was reduced in size and fineness, with further reductions in the 1940s and 1950s. However, 2 1921, 5 1947, and 10 1955 peso coins were minted during the same period with sizes and fineness similar to the old peso. <laughs> Ireland and British colonies The term cob was used in Ireland and the British colonies to mean a piece of eight or a Spanish-American dollar, because Spanish-American gold and silver coins were irregularly shaped and crudely struck during this period. Australia After the colony of New South Wales was founded in Australia in 1788, it ran into the problem of a lack of coinage, particularly since trading vessels took coins out of the colony in exchange for their cargo. In 1813, Governor Lachlan Macquarie made creative use of £10,000 in Spanish dollars sent by the British government. To make it difficult to take the coins out of the colony, and to double their number, the centres of the coins were punched out. The punched centre, known as the dump, was valued at 15 pence, and the outer rim, known as the holy dollar, was worth five shillings. This was indicated by overstamping the two new coins. The obverse of the holy dollar was stamped the words, New South Wales, and the date, 1813, and the reverse with the words, five shillings. The obverse of the dump was stamped with a crown, the words, New South Wales, and the date, 1813, and the reverse with the words, 15 pence. The mutilated coins became the first official currency produced specifically for circulation in Australia. The expedient was relatively short-lived. The British Parliament passed the Sterling Silver Money Act in 1825, which made British coins the only recognised form of currency and ended any legitimate use of the holy dollar and dump in the Australian colonies. United States. The Coinage Act of 1792 created the United States Mint, but the first U.S. dollars were not as popular as the Spanish dollars, which were heavier and were made of finer silver. Indeed, by far the leading specie coin circulating in America was the Spanish silver dollar, defined as consisting of 387 grains of pure silver. The dollar was divided into pieces of eight, or bits, each consisting of one-eighth of a dollar. 
Spanish dollars came into the North American colonies through lucrative trade with the West Indies. The Spanish silver dollar had been the world's outstanding coin since the early 16th century, and was spread partially by dint of the vast silver output of the Spanish colonies in Latin America. More important, however, was that the Spanish dollar, from the 16th to the 19th century, was relatively the most stable and least debased coin in the Western world. A dollar nominally weighed 550.209 Spanish grains, which is 423.900 troy, avertipois grains 0.883125 troy ounces or 27.468 grams, 0.930555 fine, so contained 0.821791 troy ounces 25.561 grams or 394.460 grains fine silver. Its weight and purity varied significantly between mints and over the centuries. In contrast, the Coinage Act of 1792 specified that the U.S. dollar would contain 371 and 4 16 grain 24.1 grams pure or 416 grain 27.0 grams standard silver. This specification was based on the average weight of a random selection of worn Spanish dollars which Alexander Hamilton ordered to be weighed at the Treasury. The coins had a nominal value of eight reals royals. Before the American Revolution, owing to British mercantilist policies, there was a chronic shortage of British currency in Britain's colonies. Trade was often conducted with Spanish dollars that had been obtained through illicit trade with the West Indies. Spanish coinage was legal tender in the United States until the Coinage Act of 1857 discontinued the practice. The pricing of equities on U.S. stock exchanges in one-eighth dollar denominations persisted until the New York Stock Exchange converted first to pricing in sixteenths of a dollar on 24 June 1997, and shortly after that, to decimal pricing. Asia Long tied to the lore of piracy. Pieces of eight were manufactured in the Americas and transported in bulk back to Spain, making them a very tempting target for seagoing pirates. The Manila galleons transported Mexican silver to Manila in the Spanish Philippines, where it would be exchanged for Philippine and Chinese goods, since silver was the only foreign commodity China would accept. In Oriental trade, Spanish dollars were often stamped with Chinese characters known as chop marks which indicated that particular coin had been assayed by a well-known merchant and determined to be genuine. The specifications of the Spanish dollar became a standard for trade in the Far East, with later Western powers issuing trade dollars, and colonial currencies such as the Hong Kong dollar, to the same specifications. The first Chinese yuan coins had the same specification as a Spanish dollar, leading to a continuing equivalence in some respects between the names yuan and dollar in the Chinese language. Fiction In modern pop culture and fiction, pieces of eight are most often associated with the popular notion of pirates. Fictional portrayals In Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, Long John Silver's parrot had apparently been trained to cry out, Pieces of Eight. This use tied the coin and parrots to fictional depictions of pirates. Deriving from the wide popularity of this book, Pieces of Eight is sometimes used to mean money or a lot of money, regardless of specific denomination. In Pirates of the Caribbean, at World's End, the pirate lords must meet together by presenting the nine pieces of eight, since these pieces were used to seal the goddess Calypso in her human form by the First Brethren Court. As the pirate lords were, at the time of sealing Calypso into her human form, too poor to offer real Spanish dollars, they opted to use personal talismans instead, except for the ninth piece of eight, Jack Sparrows, which was an actual piece of eight that is hanging off his bandana in all movies, up to its destruction in the third film. In Neil Stevenson's The Baroque Cycle Numismatics, gold and pieces of eight are an integral part of the plot. In Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe, pieces of eight are also mentioned among the types of currency that the title character encounters. Pieces of eight are the currency used in the video game Puzzle Pirates and in the Monkey Island game series. 
Pieces of Eight is the eighth studio album and second concept album by Styx, released on 1 September 1978. In May of 1987, Neil Peart of Rush recorded a flexi-disc for Modern Drummer magazine titled, Pieces of Eight. See also Dubloon Spanish Escudo Columnarios Maria Teresa Toller Piastri Holy Dollar <laughs>